Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian. I am a spiritual mentor. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Whenever you are seeing this, I hope you are good. So today guys, we're going to be doing a pick a card reading. I really appreciate all the great feedback that I got on my last video talking about seven things that you're doing incorrectly when you are releasing. If you haven't checked that video out, go get into it. I'll let you guys know all about my new releasing services where you and I work one-on-one -on -one to help you release or create a plan to help you heal from things that are specific affecting you in your everyday life um, so yeah guys today we're gonna do a pick a card reading of course you guys know the setup when we're right here we're doing pick a card so we're gonna be doing a pick a card reading for the full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus that we're gonna have on October 28th so I'm super excited to get into this because I just love eclipse season typically eclipse season rocks me like it rocks everybody else but I'm super super ready for it this time I'm excited about it I'm making the most of it because eclipse season definitely means a lot of change a lot of things being shaken up, um, a lot of tower moments, a lot of deaths, a lot of confusion, a lot of frustration, um, a lot of new beginnings. But it also means the opportunity for change, the opportunity for transformation, um, which is, of course, so, so, so valuable no matter what you're dealing with and no matter what your goals are. So we are going to be getting into how you can make the most of this full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus. Remember, it's going to be taking place on October 28th. Remember, you have three days before and after any full moon or new moon to tap into those energies. So this full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus is bringing about a few things. First of all, a lunar eclipse is a lot of emotional energy. It talks about a lot of things being revealed as well. Like we talk about full moons being very, you know, intuitive based, being all about secrets coming to the light, things being revealed, the full moon illuminates the sky. The lunar eclipse is like your full moon times 100. So the fact that we have a full moon lunar eclipse, you know, this is going to be a lot of emotional energy. Things are going to be being revealed. Um, there's also going to be a lot of dark emotional things coming to the surface. If you've dealt with betrayal, anything that's bothering your ego, any Thing that is causing your shadow to come to the forefront you know this is definitely going to be time to deal with some rough emotions also a time to bring some balance into your life and to kind of break negative or unhealthy emotional cycles if you typically feel the same way about things or you're in a perpetual cycle of grief or insecurity or doubt or the fear of failure you know this is about dealing with those things on an emotional level um, and healing your feelings because most of what we deal with is of course if not all all of the things that we're working to try to heal is because of our emotional response to these things. Um, like I've said before, you can see something as the best or the worst thing that's ever happened to you. It's totally up to your perception. So healing whatever is causing that emotional response is going to be great. And that's what we're going to be working on. This is also going to be a time to think Think, think, think before you speak. I mean, think a few times. Give yourself 72 hours instead of 48 hours um, or 24 hours before you have a conversation that you know is going to be difficult. This is really a time to kind of let your feelings out in a safe and healthy way so you can have the necessary conversations that you need to, so you can make it make sense where it needs to be made sense, okay? Now, you guys know I always offer private readings for the full moons and new moons. We're going to be doing the same thing. So the readings are going to be 30 bucks as always. I take payment through Cash App, Zelle, or PayPal. Um, I'll have all of the payment options listed down below in the description box. With this full moon lunar eclipse and Taurus reading, we're going to be talking about what emotional cycles are you breaking? Whatever is coming up for you emotionally, how is it going to be causing you to break some emotional cycles that have not been serving you? So what emotional cycles are you breaking? What cycles are you ending? What overall life cycles are you ending? It could be affecting your career. It could be affecting you in your inner child. It could be affecting your romance, your relationships, your ability to be open, your ability to network, to trust people, whatever. We're going to figure out what cycles are ending for you right now. And we're also going to be talking about, of course, a releasing plan. Um, I'll be letting you know if I think you should do some journaling, if I think you should do a burning ritual, if I think you should do some candle work, if I think you should do a meditation, um, whatever I feel you'll need. I'll basically be giving you a little mini releasing plan to kind of help you work on these things so if you're interested in those private readings check the top of the description box to get into it again we're going to be talking about what emotional cycles you are breaking what overall cycles in your life are ending and also a releasing plan to help you make the most of this full moon lunar eclipse in taurus and get these energies off of you so yeah, again, if you're interested in the private session, check down below in the top of the description box. I'm going to be sending those out every day. That's going to be a video recorded reading. If you get one, make sure you put your email or your Instagram username in the payment notes. 
Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. I'm going to be doing four groups as always. I don't have my sound bowls, so we have sound bowls playing in the background. We're just going to do three deep breaths together in through your nose, out through your mouth. Um, take some time to start getting comfortable right now or just, you know, kind of start to get in a space where you can do these breaths with me. Take your time, choose whichever pile is calling to you, and then check the top of the description box to see your timestamp, and I will see you at your reading. So let's go ahead and do some breaths and get into it. We're going to start with breathing deeply in through our nose and out through our mouth. Make sure you really, 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 really fill your lungs, fill your body wise, and then really, 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 really empty it out. Feel your body kind of sag as you exhale. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, everyone, here is our card selection. Pause here if needed. Remember to not second guess yourself. Choose whichever pile is calling to you, pile one, pile two, or pile three, or pile four. Then check the top of the description box for your timestamp, and I will see you at your reading. All right, group one, let's go ahead and get into your tea. The card that we have for you guys for your, well, one of your oracle cards is Delusion. Delusion, group one, intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. Intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. What is this card saying? If you think you're going to get something, think you're going to do something, if you have it in your mind to have a conversation or have it in your mind to break a curse or, you know, heal your trust issues or be able to communicate and you don't have a plan to surrender, you don't have a plan to let go and let God, you don't have a plan to release, you don't have a plan to really let it go to get the healing. It's literally delusion. Like it's never going to happen. It's kind of like saying, okay, you know, I'm going to let myself be healed from something. And then you aren't able to feel what you need to heal. You aren't able to do the initial and, and step into it because whatever you've been healing from, that's the best way I can describe it. Whatever you've been healing from or whatever you're trying to heal, it's kind of like it's balled up. Like you have this tension energy and you don't want to take the initial deep breath to let it go. You don't want to do the surrender, the initial surrender, which is the scariest part. You might be ready for it, but are you ready to surrender? And if you're not, I feel like this is about stepping into it. So let's get into it, guys. We have the five of pentacles in reverse. We have the world in reverse and we have temperance in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse, the world in reverse, and temperance. So this is letting you know that it's definitely time to release your lack mindset. Um, it's definitely time to kind of step into a space where you trust yourself more, you believe in yourself more, you have faith in yourself more. And if you don't do that, you could definitely step into a space of spiritual poverty where you truly feel like there is no faith for you, there is no hope for you, there is no salvation for you. You truly feel like, I can't heal from this, I can't do this. Like When you get to that point, it's almost impossible for you to build that confidence back up because when you have a little bit of faith all you need is a little bit of hope in yourself and you can have a great day or a great opportunity that kind of builds on that hope but even if you get a great opportunity if you don't have any faith or hope for yourself you'll get that opportunity and you'll be like i don't know why this came in my way i can't do this i can't do this you're going to be explaining it away making a bunch of solutions you're never even going to be open to the opportunity when it presents itself because now you're in a space of pure spiritual poverty like you've been so negative for so long you've been down on yourself for so long, you can't even see the potential anymore. You can't even see the potential anymore. You have no faith at all. So I feel like your energies are saying you're either at this place or you're going to be at this place if you keep doing what you're doing. If you keep focusing on the negative, if you keep focusing on what you can't do, if you keep focusing on all of the things that are against you. We have the world in reverse and temperance. So you guys have to accept and understand what you have to do in order to get what you want. You have to do a lot of work. You have to do a lot of work. It's going to be a long journey. It's going to be hard. There's no way around it. You're also going to have to forgive a lot of people. You're going to have to deal with a lot of people that are different from you. You're going to have to learn from a lot of people that are different from you. You're going to have to be in a lot of spaces that you don't want to be in. You're going to have to be open. You're going to have to surrender. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's like you can either allow yourself to be spiritually impoverished and so spiritually weak that you might have to get hypnotized to rebuild your faith in yourself or do some intensive therapy to kind of get yourself back to a point where you can even see the possibility of tomorrow of you meeting your goals 
Or you can allow yourself to, you know, just say, I'm going to step into it now. I'm going to choose to believe now. I'm going to choose to have faith now and release now. And you have the, the, the ability to do that. But I feel like, you know, it's a lot that you're going to have to achieve and a part of your shadow or your ego does not want to do all that work, doesn't feel confident about doing that work, but it's some problem that y'all have with the work that you have to do. Um, well, we have Ram, which says a stubborn, aggressive person. So I feel like either you're stubborn or your mom is, your grandma is, your dad was, you know, there's some stubborn energy that's in you or energy that you've learned from somewhere else. Um, and it's not strength. It's an absolute weakness, you know. Being stubborn also means being stagnant. It also means never growing, never changing, never evolving, never leveling up. That's also what stubborn means, aggression. If you feel like you get angry, you get frustrated, you get aggravated with things that, you know, don't go your way versus trying to find lessons, trying to make it make sense. You know, you might not be able to ever move forward. You might not ever be able to make it make sense. And if you feel like that resonates with your mom or someone that's super close to you and you don't feel like it's you, then you could also be in denial. You could be super delusional because this is something that you have picked up you know this is something you've seen this is something that was already in you as a seed and I feel like now this is definitely a big part of you know what comes out of you when you're in those conflicts you know sometimes you don't know that you're just like your parents or you don't know that you've picked up certain traits of stubbornness or you know attitude or anger or rage um, you don't know that you've picked up those traits until you're in certain relationships where you can see, okay, I, I can recognize that I'm picking up on this. I can recognize that I argue just like my mom, or I can recognize that I'm having the same problems in my friendship that I recognize my, um, family has within themselves. Like it's definitely some negative learned behaviors that you guys are battling with. Um, but again, I do feel like you have the ability to release it. This is all about breaking emotional cycles. So if you're ready to step into it and make it happen. We also have psychic eye, um, excuse me. We have eye, psychic ability, trust your intuition. Psychic ability, trust your intuition. So trust your intuition right now with this full moon lunar eclipse. There's definitely going to be a lot of things that are being revealed to you. Just be open. Surrender. You have to be open to new perspectives, new outlooks, because what you've been thinking is not right. What you've been feeling is not right. It's not how you're supposed to be feeling. And of course, you know, our feelings are never wrong. But what I mean is what you've been feeling is not true. What you've been feeling is not the truth of it. The frustration, the pain, the, the, the idea that it's never going to get better, the idea that it's too far gone, the idea that people are this way and you're this way and that just is what it is. That's not the truth. And I feel you believe that very deeply because of the pain you've experienced. Um, but I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. I think your intuition is going to be giving you a lot of insight about this and your energies want you to trust that. We also have third chakra, Archangel Chamael. Third chakra, which is our solar plexus chakra. This is ruling your self-esteem, your confidence, um, your ability to problem solve, your ability to see yourself in a certain light, your ability to feel like you're worthy to express yourself, your ability to decide who you are outside of what people have told you you are. That's why I feel like a lot of what you guys are dealing with, you've picked it up from different relationships or different people in your life. So there's definitely a lot of things that's affecting your self-image that isn't even you. So really make sure that you're able to identify those things. We also have opportunity for y'all and the situation will improve. Opportunity and the situation will improve. So just like I said, if you're in a space where you have no faith, you have no hope, you'll get an opportunity and you won't even step into it. So there's an opportunity coming for y'all. You have to decide if you're going to be ready to step into it or not. And again, the situation will improve. So you're not going to be here forever. You do have an opportunity for healing. You do have an opportunity for things to turn themselves around completely. But you have to take the first step. We have to take this first step, group one. So again, for you guys, we have delusion. Intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. Intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. So surrender is definitely going to be something big for you guys um, with this full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus. So yes, group one, if that was your tea. I feel like that was such a drag. I feel like I don't really drag group one like that. Maybe everybody is going to be a drag today because we are breaking unhealthy emotional cycles. So we all have something that we need to let go of today. Um, so I appreciate you guys. If you pick group one and it resonate with you, please let me know down below. Also guys, if you're interested in getting a private reading for this full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus. Make sure you check the top of the description box and send your 30 bucks to one of those payment options so you can get a reading about what emotional cycles you are breaking, what cycles overall for you are ending, and also a releasing plan to help you let go of what you need to let go of in this full moon season. So I appreciate y'all. I thank you guys and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bless. 
Alrighty, group two, let's go ahead and get into what we have for you guys for this full moon, lunar eclipse, and Taurus. So for your oracle card, one of your oracle cards, we have divine love. This says, when you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit, divine love. When you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. So this is saying, whatever you want, you really, really have to give it to God. You can't be attached to it where you're thinking about it all the time, worried about it all the time, constantly asking, what if, what if, what if? That's not what detachment looks like. That's not what true faith looks like. So I feel like it's time for you guys to experience some divine love. If you have unhealthy attachment style, you're definitely going to be working on releasing that right now. Also for your tarot cards, we have the tower. We have the nine of wands. And we also have the wheel of fortune. The tower, the nine of wands, and the wheel of fortune. So with this tower moment, things are definitely being broken down. We also have quill. I'm jumping a little bit ahead. We have weight and quill. Get back to the basics. So I feel like you guys are, you know, make sure that you're staying calm right now, Okay. The tower moment is letting you know things are going to be destroyed. Things are going to be broken down. Anything that you have an unhealthy attachment to is about to be removed from your life. Codependent relationships, um, bad friendships, um, unhealthy relationships with money. You might end up losing your job. Um, whatever you know you have an unhealthy attachment to, you better figure out how to fix it now because it's about to be removed from your life. It's about to be destroyed. It's about to be broken down. You know, the tower talks about things being broken down so they can be rebuilt. It talks about creating a clean slate so something new can be brought up in its um, place. So yeah, I feel like if you guys are unhealthy, it's unhealthily attached to certain things, this is definitely gonna be the time for these things to be removed. That's why I feel we have this get back to the basics energy because it's easy to feel like, oh my God, my job, my friends, my relationship, oh my God, what's happening, what's happening? But remember why you even step into those spaces. Remember the beginning of you working, the beginning of that friendship, the beginning of that relationship. Think about all of the things that you missed. Think about all of the red flags that you missed. Think about what you wanted these things to do in your life and ask yourself if it served its purpose. Ask yourself if it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Ask yourself if you really feel fulfilled by these things in your life. We also have weight. So don't feel like you have to rush into this next season. Don't feel like you have to rush into this next space. We have the wheel of fortune. So everything is about to be open for you guys. I feel like you guys are going to be able to easily step into everything that you want, but you're definitely gaining some spiritual muscle right now. Um, if you guys have a habit of running back to what's familiar when things get too tough, I feel like this could be talking about that as well. It's going to be broken down so you won't be able to run back to it anymore and this happens in a lot of different ways we can reach our breaking point someone can hurt us so bad that we never want to go back to them there's a lot of different things that we can go through that will kind of set the tone for how do i move forward am i going to go back to the same things or am i going to create something new this is about setting the tone so you have no choice but to create something new for some of y'all you have a really 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 um important purpose there's something that god has been trying to be patient with you with but God is like, all right, I done gave you X amount of months, X amount of years to leave this stuff alone. You don't want to. It's gone. It's done. It's over with. I'm not letting you do it anymore. Now I'm about to take control because you know it's not yours, but you're just too scared to do it. Say less. I'm going to do it. You're just too scared to move on it. Say less. I got you. That's what's happening. It's being removed and you're going to have to go through this nine of wands phase. You're going to have to go through, you know, being picked on, being talked about, um, you know, being, being, being brought down, um, you know, being in a space where you are not feeling served, being in a space where you feel that you are just weak, being in a space where you're like, oh my God, why, why am I here? What's going on? You know, but in this space, you're never going to lose hope in this space. You're going to still in the back of your head be thinking, but I know something's coming out of this, but I know something's happening. You guys have a lot of faith. You have a lot of hope. I feel like, you know, your foundation, your core, you do have a lot of faith. Even if you run back to the old stuff, it could be out of impatience. You know, you're going to be figuring out specifically what that is about. But I do feel like you guys have a lot of strength and a lot of hope. And I think that's definitely going to be carrying you into this new beginning. Of course, also with the Wheel of Fortune, this talks about stepping into something new that's going to be blessing you. You know, going on a new journey that's going to bring in so much abundance to your life. And it's a new journey. If you keep doing the old stuff, there is no abundance there. You've already done what you can do in that space. So now you're bringing Brought, you're being brought to somewhere else. So you have to trust that. And again, wait. Be comfortable waiting. Be comfortable taking your time here. We also have romance and we have teapot. 
deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So I feel like you guys are granting, um, I feel like you guys are going to be granted new relationships romantically and um, friendship wise. So this is beautiful. I feel like if you guys have had issues connecting with people or if the things that are being brought out of your life are friendships and connections and you've been like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I'm all alone. It is definitely going to be some more on the way and it's going to be serving you a lot better. We also have the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. The fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. So this is talking about your heart chakra. I feel like you guys are going to be doing a lot of heart chakra work. Um, or this is really about your relationship to things. And making sure that the relationship that you have to your new beginning... The relationship that you have with God, the relationship that you have with yourself, nothing should be stronger than that. Not the relationship that you have between you and your children, not the relationship that you got with your man, your woman, your partner, not the relationship that you got with your best friend. Nothing, nothing should be stronger than the relationship that you have with your future, with God, and with yourself. You have to trust and have loyalty to that over everything. If you put your children before your future, before God, and before yourself, you'll end up dedicating all of your half-ass efforts because let's be real about it if you're not doing what you really want to do being who you really want to be being who god wants you to be sticking to your plan sticking to your goals sticking to your path you can only be half of who you're really supposed to be you're never going to be none of you you might be half but the other half is where the magic is the other half is where the true lesson the true healing is and that half of you is just like everybody else that's come before you there's nothing spectacular about that half because you're always going to be thinking about, well, what if I did this? Or what if I was really like this? You know, so you have to make sure that that takes precedence over everything. That's why we have when you really love something, you love it with detachment. When you really love your children, you trust that your children are not yours. They are God's. And you're supposed to lead them. And that's it. You know, they are for God. They are not for you. God loaned them to you so you can get them ready for the world. God loaned you your job so you can make that money and do what you need to. That job isn't going to be yours forever. God loaned you your friends so y'all can work together. They are not yours. You are not theirs, you know, versus feeling like you have this deep attachment to things to where it's out of your life. You're like, oh, my God, I can't have happiness or success without this, you know. So you really want to reevaluate what is the most important thing to you, because that's going to be affecting all of your relationships. You know, you have to stop putting everything ahead of you, because when you do that, you can't really give the full you to anything, you know. So be mindful of that group, too. So yeah, I feel like you guys are definitely stepping into a very powerful position. I feel like there's going to be so many blessings, so much abundance that comes from this. Remember getting back to the basics, remembering why you want the things that you want, remembering the work that you've done to put yourself in these positions and how you want to keep moving forward. Again, we have divine love. When you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. When you offer everything to the divine with attachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. So group two, if you pick this group and it resonated with you, please let me know down below in the comment section. Um, this definitely was a great read for you guys. Also, if you're interested in a private reading for this full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus, where we're going to be talking about what emotional cycles you are breaking, what cycles overall in your life are ending, and also a releasing plan so you can specifically work on what you need to let go of with the help of this full moon lunar eclipse. So if you're interested in that, remember to the top of the description box to get the tea um so you can figure out where to send your coin and get your reading um but yeah i appreciate y'all and i thank you guys so much and i will see you guys next time have a good one bye guys bless all righty group three let's go ahead and get into your tea for this full moon lunar eclipse in taurus so we have divine flow eventually one sublime desire takes precedence over all others to follow the tile the divine flow at all costs divine flow eventually one sublime desire takes precedence over all others to follow the Tao, the divine flow at all costs. So what I feel you guys are going to be working on is just listening to your intuition, listening to your emotions, and not suppressing them so they turn into something else. I feel like you guys definitely have a habit of trying to go against what you're naturally feeling because maybe you're worried about being left out. Maybe you're worried about how other people are going to feel about it. I don't know what it is, but I feel like you guys are definitely kind of battling with yourself to just follow the Tao, follow the flow, like surrender you know we had a message about surrender in group one if you're listening to all of them um we had that similar message so i think you guys are definitely going to be learning not to suppress your emotions and let yourself feel those things in full um so let's get into it we have the three of pentacles we have the six of wands in reverse and we also have death in reverse three of pentacles the six of wands in reverse and death in reverse this makes total sense just like i was saying y'all are scared 
to let go of what you need to let go of, to stop stepping into this flow. And I feel like you're afraid because like I said, you don't want to maybe disappoint people. You don't want to make people feel the way, you know, we have the three of pentacles. So collaboration is very important for you guys. Community is important. Working together with people, learning with people, all of that is important. And I feel like sometimes your divine flow would take you out of certain relationships, out of certain groups. But with the six of wands in reverse, your energies are saying that you need to learn to do things for yourself by yourself you know a lot of y'all are too motivated by what other people think and that's your main driving force not that you want this it's that everyone else needs you to be this um so this is really about you making your own expectations you deciding who you want to be you setting the tone for who you want to be your divine flow will always lead you to that place you're going against that divine flow is going to lead you to just satisfy everybody else make everybody else happy not take care of yourself you don't want to be in that space you are worth more than that you deserve more than that and you have to give yourself that no matter what, you know, we also have this death in reverse. So there are certain things that you guys do not want to let go of. There are certain things that are already kind of fading out of your life that you are still holding on to. So we also have this energy of take action, take action. And we have a year from now, take action in a year from now. So I feel like this year from now is kind of a warning, but also just like a, you need to think about where you want to be a year from now and ask yourself if you still want to be people pleasing and letting people play with you in 12 months. If you still want to be there, then keep doing what you want to do. If you want to be in a different space, then take action. Do something different. But you really need to ask yourself a year from now, do I still want to be holding on to dead relationships? A year from now, do I still want to be holding on to dead promises, to dead what ifs, to dead, oh, but they need me to do. It's like, do you still want to be holding on to that a year from now? I think you're going to be fucking disgusted a year from now if you keep holding on to this. You're going to be disgusted. We have envy as well. So I feel like... There's some envy here. You know, this envious energy talks about dissatisfaction. It talks about not being satisfied, feeling like there's more for you. So I feel if you don't do something about this, you're going to become a very jealous person. You might already be feeling a little bit of jealousy, like feeling like, dang, how they getting this and I ain't even get mine yet. How they doing this and I ain't even get mine yet. Because you could be a blessing to others without them being a blessing to you. You're a blessing to others, which means your presence elevates them, but it knocks you down because they don't need to be in your life. It tears you up. Just like people coming into a clinic, you know, like the doctor is going to take care of them. The doctor is going to help them. They're going to leave healed whether the doctor is paid or not. They're going to leave taken care of whether the doctor is compensated or not. It's the same thing. People are going to get what they need to get from you regardless if you're getting served or not. And that will eventually make you jealous, especially if you're holding on to stuff that isn't serving you. Why would you not be jealous of everybody else? You have a bunch of dead stuff in your house where everybody else is living their best life. You're watching them elevate, watching them grow. You're like, what the fuck is happening with me? You're going against your divine flow. There is more for you, and you know that. You know that. So your energies definitely want you to let go of what you need to let go of. Also, again, we have to take action, so don't miss this opportunity to take action. Do not miss this opportunity to take action. You will regret it. That's a guarantee. You'll regret the opportunity to take action. You will. We also have successfully overcoming a problem, so it is going to work out successfully overcoming a problem. I feel like this is something that you guys already have been working on or you knew that you were needing to do this. So this is really just confirmation for y'all, but I feel like, you know, you guys have the ability, you have the power to step into this um, and, you know, get what you need to from it. It's just about submitting to that divine flow. You already know who's fake. You already know what you've outgrown. You've already known what you don't need. You already know that. So take it a step further and act on it. We have bag. Something important such as a new job or a raise. Something important such as a new job or a raise. So there's definitely a blessing for you. There's definitely a new um, sense of abundance coming your way. Um, and I feel once you get this new job, once you get this raise, it's going to be even more clear to you who really likes you, who really loves you, who really supports you, and who only wants you in their life if you can be a certain person for them. I feel like you already know this, but this new money, this new abundance, this new success coming your way is going to make it that much more clear to you. So yeah, group three, I feel like you guys have a lot of opportunity here to make a lot of change and step into a really beautiful direction, but you have to decide that you're ready to do that. Um, and you're going to be happy that you made the decision. Absolutely. So yeah, I feel like you guys are working to accept your emotions 110%. And again, go with the divine flow, divine flow, which says eventually one sublime desire takes precedence over all others to follow the tab, the divine flow at all costs. 
Eventually, one sublime desire takes precedence over all others to follow the tide, the divine flow at all costs, divine flow. So yes, group three, that is what we have for you. If you pick group three and it resonated with you, please let me know down below in the comment section. If you guys want to get a private reading to see how specifically you're going to be affected by this full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus, then check the top of the description box to see how you can get a reading about what emotional bonds you are breaking, what cycles are ending for you right now, and also specifically what you should be doing to release in this season. So I appreciate you guys. I thank y'all for being here and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bless. Alrighty, last but certainly not least, group four, let's get into it. If you've been watching from the beginning, hello, how you doing? I hope you're feeling great. Um, group four, let's get into the tea. We have allowing, allowing. This says radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment. So what's needed can come next. Radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment. So what's needed can come next. So similar to group three, I feel like your energies really want you to f go with the flow emotionally um, and just be comfortable saying yes. Be comfortable accepting what's going on right now. It could be an ego thing for you guys that makes you hold grudges, you know, makes you want to hold on to the past and not want to move forward. We also have let go let go okay so y'all definitely need to let go of some grudges some of y'all might have some daddy issues we have older man you might have dad issues or you might have been abused you might have been assaulted by an older man in your childhood you might have had a relationship with an older person um and they really broke you down in more ways than one now this isn't everybody but for some of us this older man is definitely um at the center of what we need to let go of so let's get into these tarot cards guys we have the eight of wands we have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Empress. The Eight of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Empress. We have a beautiful full circle moment here for you guys, Group 4. So with the Eight of Wands, you know, this is basically saying... How are you going to be handling all of the success? You know, there's a lot of different things that are going to be opening up for you guys, a lot of different opportunities, and you're going to have to step up to the plate and you might have to deal with some emotions that are kind of holding you back. Like you might have to move, you might have a new opportunity that comes to you and it requires you to do something drastic. You know, this talks about opportunity, success, newness coming at you from all different directions and your spirit is going to know that you need it, but there's going to be a part of you that's like, mm, can I really do this though? Because I still have unfinished business. You know, unfinished business isn't even a real thing um, because everything is unfinished business. You know, you're going to be learning, healing, working through, understanding more about everything that's ever happened to you ever in this life and in the last one. You know, for as long as you're on this earth, you know, you'll always be doing more to heal, doing more to understand. So unfinished business really just isn't something to hold yourself back with. Even grudges, you know, grudges is the worst thing to hold yourself back with because you're never going to heal from it. It's not like you hold a grudge for a certain amount of years and then you finally feel better. Like, no, that grudge will just get worse and worse and worse. You know, just like the feeling of fear will get worse and worse and worse. The feeling of unfinished business will get worse and worse and worse as you grow. So your energies are telling you to let go, of course. Also, with the seven of pentacles, think about your future. Think about what you want in the future. Think about if you want to be worried about this, you know, think about what you need to do to set yourself up for success. I feel like some of you guys are wanting to, you know, do something different in career and your energies are telling you to invest or to move or to go back to school or to do something different and you're not really sure. Sit there and think about it. Make a plan, you know, do some journaling, write out what you want in life and write out how what you're doing right now is going to be benefiting you in your desires. You know, it's all connected. It's all going to elevate you. It's all going to lead you to where you need to be led. So really be mindful of that and really think about that. Also, we have the Empress. You know, this talks about love, stepping into great spaces, um, allowing your divine feminine to just flow freely. This also talks about new relationships, people that serve you, people that love you, people that show you a lot of gratitude. So I think that you guys are going to be elevating in more ways than one, definitely in career, definitely creatively, and definitely in relationships. So group four, you know, you guys are really being um, released from a lot. You're being healed from a lot. And, you know, allowing. You have to step into that radical acceptance where you don't ask all the questions, you don't feel all the confusion, you just go where your spirit leads you and you trust that it's going to bring you to the space that you need to be brought to. Also, we have Angel of Strength reminding you to be very, very strong. Remember that you are strong and courageous. And we also have Funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. Period of frustration, lessons to be learned. So 
I feel like with this, it always makes me think of kind of being brought through a funnel, like kind of being strained. So the best parts of you are left afterwards. So you guys are being brought through a period of frustration. There are lessons to be learned here, but it's definitely going to be benefiting you. And again, of course, we have let go and we have yes. Let go and yes. So I feel this is confirmation. If you guys are wondering, should I do this? We have yes. You need to move, take the job, go back to school, whatever it is. Yes, 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 yes. If the opportunity that you've been waiting on has presented itself to you and you have doubt and fear that's like, oh, I don't know. Yes, yes, yes. Let go of the past. Let go of your present. Let go of what's holding you to this current space and say yes to moving forward. And again, with this older man energy, you know, there could be an older man that's going to be either showing up for you, possibly giving you an opportunity. For some of us, this is a source of our pain and struggle. So just, you know, whatever this older man is representing for you, be on the lookout for this energy, dealings or relationship with an older man. So be on the lookout for someone with this energy. Um, and again, you know, we have angel of strength. So you guys really have it within you to do these things. I feel like this is time for you to kind of, you know, just boost yourself up. And this empress is the highest level of divine feminine creative energy you know this typically talks about even a woman that's pregnant so some of you guys might be wanting to expand your family and god has told you to move god has told you you could expand your family but not here not with this person you know listen to whatever god is telling you right now about what you need to do to elevate and to get more um, because it's definitely time for you to step into that and god is not going to let you create in a space that is not conducive to what you really want um so yeah just be open be ready and commit to the journey because there's a lot that you guys are going to be shown and again radical acceptance say yes say yes to reality in any given moment so what's needed can come next it might not make sense but just say yes say yes right now so you can get what you need to on the back end but yeah, I appreciate y'all. Let me know if this resonated with you before down below in the comment section. Um, we got some really, really great messages today. I appreciate y'all so much for being here. Um, if you want to get a private reading to see how this full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus is going to be affecting you, to see what emotional bonds you are breaking, what cycles are ending, and also what specifically you need to do to release right now, then you can go ahead and check the top of the description box to get that tea. And I will see you guys um, later on. But I thank you guys. I appreciate y'all. I hope you loved your readings shout out to everybody that's been there for the beginning shout out to everybody that's enjoyed their tea um but i appreciate y'all as always i love y'all and i hope you make the most out of this energy on october 28th i'll see you guys next time bye guys bless